evening all. I Rapstein with your medals report for this Wednesday and we're at November 3rd, 2021. And here we are sitting uh, in the evening and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm in Mexico right now on vacation. I'm on a veranda as I'm talking to you and doing this. If you hear background noise, I apologize, but it's too pretty of a night to not do it. And you know, I've got to go back to Chicago into the cold. So let's talk about today. The Fed came out and it did its $15 billion cutting now. So each month it's going to start cutting back. Now understand, the market doesn't fully appreciate that they're still adding money on a regular basis. It's just less of it every single month till they're not adding more money. The Fed made it also crystal clear that they don't want to raise interest rates until the employment situation is fully under control and they're going to be fluid with it. Okay, we expected this, it happened, and now where do you go with it? Well, the one thing I don't think they're doing is going to stop the inflation spiral. And I say that because the Fed has zero control over the supply chain. And the supply chain will determine that. Now, tomorrow we have uh, the OPEC meeting. We'll find out what they do. My guess is they'll stick with their original plan and continue to, if you will, increase production, but at a very predetermined amount, keeping the market, if they can, near the $80 a barrel area overall, so that their income is doing well and they don't kill the golden goose. Bank of England also talks tomorrow, and we'll get their idea on what their central bank wants to do. So if we could, let's take the market as a whole now and see what we've got. If you look at the December gold, on a weekly chart, you're just playing around this 18-week moving average of closes. The overall pattern, I think you could say you've got lower highs, lower lows. There's overall still a bias down, but the key is going to be does it close under 1785. We have two more days this week. You're down $7. Anything can happen. If it closes over it, the bias is not down. When we take a look at what you've got here, and I apologize for the cursors, but obviously I'm not in my screen at home. Uh, you've got a pattern that you can see is rolling down here with lower highs, lower lows. That's called a bearish pattern. The market's under the 18-day moving average of closes. It's also fought a battle at the 100 and the 200-day. You see these up here. And the market's staying to the downside. Where I think the market gets capped on the downside is the lower Bollinger Band for the support. And on rally, still a lot of resistance right in this general area is what I would be looking for. As I look at the slow stochastics, drifting away to the downside. So we have the trend down, the bias down, the market is not, and I want to use that word very carefully here, not an oversold condition. So it can drop to the 1756 70 area, or it could rally back up here either way. What are the pros probably doing? They're on the bear side of the market. My guess is between 1785 and 1788.10, right through here, the 100-day uh, average. And if the market clears, the high here on November 2nd, coming back now, it sounds so far ago, doesn't it? 1797.80, they won't be bearish. The gold-silver ratio, well, that was the correction in silver, and I think it's run its course. So now I'm looking for silver to start finding its legs under it and start fighting a battle right here at the 18-day moving average of closes. The bears are still in control until the market takes out 24.17 and a half. A target number could be getting as low as 22.72. The market was, and I want you to see this, not, it's no longer oversold when it was down here. You got under the 30 level, and that is today, Wednesday. And with the rally back tonight, you're trying to come out of the oversold number. Are the pros selling at the 23.79 area? Yeah, they probably are with that stop at the 24.18 zone. In the copper market, we've been coming down with lower highs, lower lows, but back to what I call this key support of the 100-day average, and a lot of support as you're coming down to these uh, lower stochastic numbers that are oversold. Now, nah, I don't see a big edge in the market down here. As we come to the platinum market, I have lower highs, lower lows, battleground 18-day average to the 100-day. The market, as I see it, is in a, in a niche here where you've got the bias up because it tries to stay over the 18-day uh, average of closes. The trend is down, 
and it's trying to establish a pattern of lower highs and low and higher lows just basically going sideways in the palladium you still have a trend up on the swing line but the markets failed at the 18 day average to stay over it so it keeps the bias down markets got to get over the 18 day average to get anything friendly in here and in the dollar index well what the fed do d did not i want to repeat that did not give the dollar much of a boost if anything tonight you're sitting here at 93.87, right against the 18-day average of closes. Uh, the pattern is one of a higher high and a lower low. I don't see a trend whatsoever. So with that, I'm Irapstein. You have a great day. I will talk to you all later.